I'm Alex Van Pelt. And I'm Cameroon. And this is What's Happening and What's Up in the Counter-Strike World. But let's see what they can pull together with it. Looking for a bit of information on the cross. And France looks like they want to finish things in style here. An aggressive play up mid. It's Apex doing the shots just for a little bit. Oh, gets caught running away. And Happy's got the cover, though. Three players in middle here for France. They've gone for the triple offer. And Happy's just picking them around. No scope to the face. Through the door. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. X-ray vision for Happy. And he picks up the fall. Actually, it's an ace. Yeah. Happy and other teammates for Team France, Apex, Shox, Smiths, and MBK took home $50,000 for their first place finish over Team Poland at the World Championships this past weekend in Belgrade, Serbia. That clip we just showed you is just a highlight from the dominating show the French put on. And HLTV.org has breakdowns for all the matches available on their website. The World Championships brought together teams that were formed from rosters representing various countries like USA, Canada, and Indonesia. I already mentioned Team France, which was a mashup of Envious and Titan, dominating the tournament and beating Team Poland in the finals. Team Liquid has a wiki we have linked down in the description that has flags for each of the countries that participated in the tournament. And if you roll over them, the roster for each country will display, making it easy to see who represented where. I wasn't too surprised to see France win this one. Envious has been on a winning streak since they started playing with their new roster, and they showed it, not breaking pace on their road to victory. Unfortunately, the American roster of Mo, Anger, Tarek, JDM64, and Automatic didn't make it out of the groups, taking only 12 rounds total, losing to France 16-4 and Netherlands 16-8 while in Group C. In the semifinals, we saw Team Sweden showing a roster of Pronax, Exist, Devilwalk, Pyth, and Pop, followed alongside other semifinalist team, Russia, who had Doja, Flamey, Seize, World Edit, and Hooch representing. EFRAG put together a great tournament hosting the World Championships, throwing $100,000 in the prize pool, and keeping the community entertained throughout the weekend. I'm definitely looking forward to the next one, and if we get any news around it, we'll let you know. Now, Renegades have that player advantage. Obviously, they were able to close out the previous round with a player disadvantage, and we'll have a three things like this. Virtus Plow has engaged and is ready for the snow to fall this winter. That video clip you saw is a highlight from when Team Renegades took a map away from VP during the Crown Invitational and shows the awesome stage setup in front of the crowd. VP takes home $25,600 for first place, giving them the lion's share of the $55,555 offered up in the pool. VP beat Team Immunity in the finals for the victory and did so in the much needed strong VP fashion. With a show of force, VP won the finals outright, taking two maps to Immunity Zero. The first map was neck and neck and had VP emerge bloody yet victorious, taking an overtime win on Overpass 19-17. After this initial bloody battle, VP shifted into second gear and put the chains on the wheels, gaining traction immediately on the second map, Mirage, crushing and moving anything in their way, winning 16-3, a $25,000 check, and left Immunity to dig their way out from under the plow to see the aftermath. This win on the heels of 2015, as the year is starting to finish out, it should be noted that VP started this year off strong, taking back-to-back -back wins, but had some issues finishing more recently. This could be the start of something amazing for VP leading into the end of the season. Neo, Snacks, Taz, Bialy, and Pasha came together for this tournament, showing up and dominating their way to the podium. I can't wait to see VP and Envious meet up in Star Series or other tournaments coming up as I know it'll be an awesome show if the plow can get some traction. Do you have a favorite VP or Pasha moment? Or what do you think will happen the next time Envious and VP meet up? Let us know in the comments below. It looks like DreamHack and Faceit are partnering up once again for DreamHack Open Winter. Live and in Sweden from November 26th to the 28th, we will see the finale for this year's Faceit CSGO League. Teams from around the globe will be fighting for their chance to take home some of the $250,000 prize pool and be crowned the champion. Eight teams from Europe, North America, and Oceania will be battling on what DreamHack quotes, the largest CSGO stage ever built at DreamHack Winter. Also, they continue to say that every single match will be played on that stage. This is shaping up to be quite a finale for Face It and DreamHack Open. Who do you think will show up and take the grand title for the champion? Let us know in the comments. 
Starting this past Wednesday, the newest season of Star Ladder Star Series will begin. They're kicking off their 14th season with a prize pool sitting at $200,000 that will eventually be split amongst the top eight finalists. The latest season isn't just Europe like the previous, but they will be expanding out to North America and China. The land finals are scheduled from January 13th to the 17th, with the top five from Europe, the top two from North America, and the best team from China meeting up to battle for the grand prize of $90,000. As mentioned, the season started this past Wednesday with the European division leading off. We will see the 16 teams divided into four groups, where the format is a round robin, and the top two moving on while the bottom two being eliminated. From there, the leftover eight teams will be put into two separate groups, with the top two being sent directly to the land finals, with the bottom four fighting for the last spot. So be sure to follow the action, as this will be an exciting season. We finally get some more information about Intel Extreme Masters San Jose. They have decided to announce four teams that are invited and the format of the tournament. This will be the biggest CSGO tournament that North America has seen to date. IEM will be gathering eight of the best teams to battle for $100,000. Four of those teams will be Team Solomid, Team Envious, Cloud9, and Luminosity. Also, the format of the tournament will be single elimination with all the matches being a best of three. Who are the other four teams you'll think you'll see in San Jose? Do you think any of the four announced will have a chance to stand holding the big check? Let us know. This week's moment in CS is a little peek behind the scenes with some pro comms from IEM Gamescom. Do you think the Glock should be fully automatic? I can't see my feet. You got the blue jeans on. I can't see my feet. <laughs> my feet. You got, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, you got two clips of ammo on your side. Oh, I should have like six. Yeah, you got 120. You're rocking 120s. Block 18. I reckon Glock should be full automatic. Oh, he's left again. Rage quit. Kevin in life. Das geht nicht, ich kann so nicht spielen. Yeah!